Hi guys, so here's the video for how I decorated the box that I decoupaged. And I'm going to cut this piece of floral foam. You don't have to worry about fitting it exactly. And this is really just styrofoam, so if you have any styrofoam sitting around the house, you can also use that. But I'm just going to cut it so it fits inside the box. doesn't have to be exact. So I just used a small saw and cut this off. By the way, you want to be careful to make sure none of this falls on the floor if you have kids or pets around that are prone to put things in their mouths. This can be really dangerous, unfortunately, for kids or pets to get into. Okay, so I've stuck my hydrangea into the styrofoam. You can see I have a little bit of height left there. And I'm going to use this Spanish moss. It's actually called Super Moss on the link below, so you'll see what this is good for. And I'm going to take a bunch of this out and place it all inside the top of the box. This has a really interesting feel to it if you're not familiar with this. It almost feels like it's alive. And it, it looks like it's alive. It's not crunchy. It isn't plasticky. It's got a nice look to it. It's very natural. Looks like it even has some twigs in there. But in any case, it looks good in all of our floral decorations. So I put the hydrangea in here, the fall colored hydrangea. And now I'm just going to add a couple of more elements. Now the idea here is I want to balance out this box. This was, it looks like a candle holder, but what I like is that these are pliable. So I'm going to use those wire cutters to cut these off of here and use them inside of my arrangement. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of nice music while I add some different elements to this so you can just watch this while listening to the music and possibly get some ideas. And of course, I'll have links down below the video if you'd like to purchase some of these supplies. I am all done with this and you just want to play around with whatever you think will look nice in here and I went with kind of a monochromatic look it's all different shades of oranges although I threw a little bit of green in here and that's to match what we decoupage so hopefully that helped you out a little bit you might want to go on to Pinterest you can get some really good ideas and inspiration on what you'd like the color scheme how you would like things to look and you can start with your napkin and you can even get everything all together so that you know what you want to do inside 
of your fall display centerpiece. Now I can put those little electric candles in here. I have little electric white LED lights that I can put in here, or I can just leave it as it is. So there's our video for the week, my friends. Our centerpiece where we decoupage the box. You hopefully have seen the how to decoupage the box video before this. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can see how to decoupage the box in case you've missed it. Links for some of the other products and supplies will be there. And a couple of things I wanted to mention when you're doing any kind of decorating or designing, it's always recommended that you use odd numbers. So here over on the side, I use the large flower, this bow, and the pumpkin as my focal point. And I used some of these, they're flexible, they've got wire on them, so I'm able to kind of move them in the direction so it kind of looks like they're blowing in the breeze. And I've also got the ribbon flowing in that direction too. And then there's a leaf on the end there. So that's just a design tip you might want to keep in mind. And thank you so much for subscribing and for sharing my videos. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. I know you guys have always helped me out before. When you share my videos on Pinterest, on your Facebook page, Instagram, whatever social media platform you prefer, it's a huge help to me. Twitter, did I mention Twitter? <laughs> so thank you so much, my friends. I will see you next week with another video. I'm trying to do another pumpkin video and I'm getting a lot of videos out for you guys during this fall slash Halloween season, going right into Thanksgiving and then Christmas. All right, my friends, thanks again. See you next week with another video. Bye-bye.